Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how to uh, tell what kind of zeros you have from polynomial and from, from a graph and how they relate to each other. <clears throat> we've got three basic kind of zeros. We've got real zeros, we've got real repeated zeros, and we've got imaginary or complex zeros. So those are kind of the three categories that we're going to be dealing with here. Uh, the first thing to just think about is uh, if you have a uh, something like this, x plus 1 squared times x minus 3. Um, if, you, uh, if, if these are not multiplied out, it is a lot easier to figure out um, what kind of zeros we're going to have. Let's just kind of start right here. Um, because this is squared, this is really like x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 3. And so the three zeros would be negative 1, negative 1, and positive 3. If you put that in the graph, we, we don't know exactly what the whole graph looks like, but we know a lot about it. We know that that would look like this. Here's 1, 2, 3. Here's negative 1. We know that we would uh, basically come up, touch, and then come down, and then come up, and cross through 3. This is a rough uh, kind of estimate of the graph, but if you have a repeated 0, um, and it's repeated twice, you approach that value, but you do not cross it, you touch it. And then you turn back down and then come back up. <clears throat> if you were to have a third negative one, then it would cross. Um, if you have an even number of repeated zeros, like two of them, then you always touch and turn back. If you have an odd number of uh, zeros, like for example, one, three here, um, then it crosses. If you had three threes, if it's also cross. Uh, so that's just kind of a, a quick uh, thing to know about uh, real zeros that don't repeat, real zeros that, that do repeat. Um, let's just look at um, uh, an, another example here. This one's a little bit longer, but not any more difficult really. Um, I'm going to move this up out of the way. Um, so two zeros from this, two zeros from this, one zero from this. I'm expecting five total. The degree here would be x to the fifth, so one uh, zero for every degree. Um, let's factor this out. Uh, uh, what So x and x, what multiplies to be negative 10 but adds up to negative 9? negative 10 and plus 1. And I'm just going to kind of write this all out this time. You got x plus 3, x plus 3. So my zeros are going to be 8, negative 3, negative 3, 10, negative 1. And uh, you could put these on a graph. I'm just going to make a, another rough sketch here for you. Uh, and uh, you know, very rough, 8. And 10, and uh, what do we have? Negative 1, negative 3. Uh, so we're going to uh, cross 10, cross at 8, uh, come up, cross at 1, and then touch at negative 3, and then down. So a very, very rough graph, but I'm just trying to show you and later I'll show you why I know that it goes up to the right and down to the left. That's a different lesson. But here uh, I'm just saying that we cross at 10 because we have one of those. We cross at 8 because we have one of these. We cross at negative 1. And we come up and hit negative 3 and turn back down. So that's just kind of a, a, a good synopsis of, of uh, repeated versus non-repeated uh, zeros. Um, if you have a graph... Uh, you might uh, say you had something like, here's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, if you had something like this, and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 
minus 1, minus 2. Um, I'm just going to say, what's a possible polynomial? I say possible, oh, I'm sorry, there you go. What, I say, what's a possible polynomial? Because, you know, we don't know what the coefficients might be in front of these terms, you know, but I do know kind of what zeros we have at least. Also, I don't know if there are additional imaginary zeros here. I can just see the real zeros from my graph. So I'm just going to make a list of the zeros that I know I have. Uh, looks like we touch at negative 2. So we've got two of those. We, we could have four of them. We, I don't know. But we have at least two. We cross at negative 1. We touch at positive 1, so there's two of those. And then we cross at 4, so there's one of those. And so my polynomial here would be start at x minus 2 squared times x plus 1, and then x minus 1 twice, and then x minus 4. So this is this is not the only answer here. Um, there are other, you know, I could have an 8 out front or, you know, who knows. But that's, a, that's a one option for a polynomial that would have these. Uh, crossing points. Um, when I have something like this or like this, that means multiplicity. That's a, it's a we say multiplicity of two. That's a vocabulary word. So if I say there's uh, one zero is negative two with a multiplicity of two, that means that we have two of them. If I had three of them, then we'd have a multiplicity of three. Um, so that should uh, get you going with uh, the relationship between a polynomial's graph, its uh, equation, and whether the zeros are, are um, repeated one time or two times.